first course is a three spread bruschetta. You have your fava bean puree with a fava bean and mint relish on top. Simply open the container. Next you have a spring garlic puree. We worded it with a little bit more fancy words on the paper. Very similar they look, but different in taste. Then you have third, your beet agridolce. Basically sweet and sour. Okay, your three spreads. And the box for garnishment for these two dishes, you have micros which are very flavorful microgreens. So you have popcorn shoots, or I'm sorry, sunflower shoots, and pea tendrils. That's gonna be the garnishment for the spring garlic. The towels on top keep the herbs from wilting. This is a micro mix. So it has baby mustard greens, baby spicy mix. It's all micros. It packs a punch and it's really gonna counterbalance and eat really well with the sweetness of the puree. You get a little bitterness and tartness from the green. And then of course, this top, the star of this box will be the Terramomo assortment of crostini. So what we have is our house focaccia cut on a bias. We're going to do two. Let's do three. Then there's just a mixture of different breads. Basically really simple, oil, salt, herbs, okay, and there's still three pieces left. Basically two per person is what's in the box. So to pick up or to spread, it's just real simple, a bruschetta, you take your puree or whatever bread you want, basically this is how we do it on in the restaurant. Just spread. However you want to eat your bruschetta or enjoy it. This is the spring garlic. Again, a little bit of puree on top. On the board. And then a little bit of garnish. On top. Pretty much pick up and eat. So you have the beet agridolce, sweet and sour. A little bit of the micro mix. Done. Final is the spring garlic and feta. Okay, so again, just take a little bit of garnish on top one bite Finito. enjoy salty like the sea so tasting is very important before you drop your noodles to taste the water it needs more salt salty like the sea This is the tortelloni, spring pea tortelloni course. What you have here is your spring garlic brodo. 
Brodo means broth in Italian. Um, has leeks and shallot and a spring garlic puree which makes it green and vibrant. For garnishment, you have sunflower shoots and pea tendrils. You have pea torta loni. So pretty much in the tortelloni, each tortelloni themselves is ricotta and pastata, an assortment of three cheeses basically, ricotta and pastata, mascarpone, grated grana, lemon zest, a pea puree, lemon infused olive oil which is an agramato, and just no salt because one you're seasoning the pasta water that's why it's important and the cheese has salt in it itself so a lot of the flavor is in the filling it's going to pack a punch when you break into it and eat it with this brodo perforate it slot it spoon is very important you're going to reserve this water for the next course all right so now fire on proto in the pan basically bringing it up to a simmer as you're doing that pasta in the water as soon as pasta hits the water at a ripping boil going to cook for about four minutes if from frozen if you choose to freeze this pasta which is very important if you're not going to eat it the day of seven minutes it'll take for this to be done because you got to think on like on a tortelloni if you take a look at the tortelloni itself it has folds in the pasta okay i'm gonna bring one out so you can see what i'm talking about this nugget here will be al dente. That's what we pinch together. That's why it takes long five minutes to cook from fresh. So once that brodetto comes to a simmer, shut the heat off. You don't, want the, you don't want the broth to turn. It's all the flavor is in that broth. All we're waiting on now is to cook the noodle. As soon as you see the tortelloni float to the top, you're almost there. That's why you set a timer for five minutes. It's very important. Pasta baskets, which would be very important as well as home. We're going to reserve this water. We're going to reserve this water for the next course. But if you have a pasta basket at home, I really highly recommend you just add a pasta basket in the water and you drop the tortelloni but when you drop the tortelloni it needs space to cook you don't want to confine it that's why i dropped it in like this because you want them to float around you want them to float around basically you're looking for a nice kind of not translucent but when you start seeing the filling that's when you know the pasta is almost there so we got about another minute Basically, we're there. So what you're gonna do is reserve your water. Just take with a slotted spoon or a spider that you have at home. A spider is pretty much, it looks like a, a fish net, open fish net spider, they're called. Um, you take the pasta out of the water, shut it off, or a slotted spoon to be fine. Because basically you're gonna finish the pasta in the broth. And the little 
little bit of pasta butter that goes in there is perfect. So now you're going to turn the pan back on. When this comes to a simmer, you're basically done. Now all you're doing is basically letting the pasta finish in this sauce for about a minute. This is ba baby leeks that are chopped up, small mints. Baby shallots, which was sous vide, basically cooked low temperature cooking. It, guys reserve for next course with the same pasta water you're saving this water because now you're gonna eat your entree you had your first and your second course hopefully you're enjoying the wine and the food now you're going on to your entree the entree which is a braised short rib with a medley of spring vegetables in these vegetables, they are already pre-packed and cooked. You have an assortment of carrots, okay? Uh, baby spring radish, spring garlic, I mean leek, sorry. And then one charred spring onion. They're all separately cooked. They're soft, tender. So basically you're just heating this to room temp. All right, there's a little sprig of fresh thyme. And again, all these vegetables are locally sourced. It's very important to know that. Um, right now we're working with Terhune Orchards and Iron Bound Farms. Um, these beautiful vegetables came from Iron Bound Farms. Just have to let them know because they do a beautiful job. Alec definitely respects what you guys are doing over there and we appreciate it. Uh, so basically, this is it. Short ribs, two eight ounce portions with sauce inside. So basically, you drop the short rib in. That's going to go in for 20 minutes. After that, when you're ready, the 20 minutes is done, your short rib will be done open to serve. So as you're eating your pasta course, as you go on to plate it, drop your short ribs in right after. So by the time you guys are done eating your pasta, this is not gonna go, it's not gonna pop. It's gonna warm, it's safe. This is what we do in the restaurant. It goes into sous vide bag. It's a controlled way of cooking. Um, the beef is already cooked and the sauce is in there so you guys can just pretty much open and serve. The vegetables are cooked. All you have to do is keep them warm. Literally two minutes into pasta water. Again, once they're warm and your short ribs ready to go, you pretty much just take it out. Once they're warm, the short ribs are ready to go, and then I'm gonna plate to show you guys how to do it. Basically, when you're going to plate, your vegetables are warm, you open the sous vide bag. Now they're sitting in olive oil, salt, and pepper. Again, all you're doing is you open the vegetables and you're going to plate as if you, you're basically just going to open the bag plate it make it look beautiful however you want i recommend you do not use the oil that's in there the oil is just to infuse the vegetables the most important part in cooking in a restaurant the best tools we use as chefs is our hands right you're going to take the time at the bottom again remember most important tools when you're at home, you're not going to be able to do this because it's going to be piping off. Right? Short rib on top. 
again, restaurant quality here. Finished sauce, your bag, your sauce is already in the bag. Done. That's for your other portion, for two. This sauce will be enough for both dishes. Again, the sauce will be enough for both dishes. That for right here is just for the restaurant to show you how it will be done at home.